good evening and aha! 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 Hey, you said to me, yeah? Huh? I'm not, it doesn't bother me. Yes. Good evening and welcome to Alan Partridge will rock you into Forward Solutions with Whiskers. What happened to the thunder flash? That's supposed to blow up when I point at it like God. And then I was going to say, Alan Partridge will rock you into Forward Solutions. What? Yes, yes, with whiskers. And I just start by thanking my uh, dance troupe, my cheerleaders, Hot and Pot, uh, collectively known as Hot Pot. There used to be three of them. They were known as Hot Pot and Red Cabbage. But, um, Due to the credit crunch, I had to let Red Cabbage go. <laughs> there they are. Hello, girls. Getting changed. Oh, oh, saw your bra. <laughs> they don't mind. Really? OK, I'll go over here. <laughs> Bras are interesting, aren't they? They used to be all uh, lift and separate. Now it's all squashed them together. Make your minds up, girls. <laughs> oh, bras. <laughs> Jesus. I do not believe that was an accident. OK, let's begin. Let me start by taking you back in time to late August. <laughs> um, I was sitting on the teak veranda of the Admiral's Cocktail Lounge in Bournemouth. Um, you won't know it, it's members only. <laughs> As I was sitting there, sipping a cool glass of white wine, sandwiched between Monty Don and TV's Alistair Stewart from Police Camera Action. And I remember thinking to myself, Alan, you crazy mofo. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than this. I remember uh, Monty was uh, refilling my glass with a, a crisp Australian white. Um, he's always got dirt under his fingernails, Monty Don. Um, I, I don't mind, he's a gardener. Yeah. You see the same thing on the pet shop boys, and it's a little bit unsavoury. <laughs> sitting there, enjoying the good life. My mind drifted back to that time five years earlier when I shat my pants in PC World. <laughs> I just had a major television chat show cancelled, and as with any major trauma, something had to give. <laughs> that something, in my case, was the small valve at the base of my lower intestine. <laughs> But I didn't panic. Fortunately, I was wearing my M&S cellular briefs, which acted as a kind of makeshift hammock. <laughs> I was lonely and I was depressed. I checked into the Ibis Hotel in Canary Wharf, where I paid £14.50 to watch Billy Elliot. And that film inspired me. I thought, if that small gay Geordie <laughs> can overcome prejudice and bigotry, and being a Geordie. <laughs> then I can overcome my problems. People can change. Countries can change. Look at Wales. <laughs> Five years ago, nobody gave a damn about Wales. Now they make Doctor Who there. <laughs> In fact, look inside a Dalek, you may well find a bitter X minor at the controls. <laughs> now, all good talks about management, stroke life, need excellent analogies or metaphors. Here's mine. This is Alan's egg. What does it mean? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> now... <laughs> oh, this. It's uh, uh, in interesting. This is a, it's a blind man's stick. Yes. It, it's encouraging to know, isn't it, that, that out of someone's misfortune, something good can come. <laughs> in this case, a collapsible attaché case-sized handy pointer. <laughs> OK. Now, most of us start off life in the frying pan. <laughs> With hard work, we gain access to the white. But where we really want to be is the place reserved for the select few, the elite, who take their place within the yolk. How do we get from the egg white to the yolk without bursting it and ending up with egg all over our faces? <laughs> well, to do that, we need my three-point plan, which is think, act, that's it. <laughs> it's set it's technically a two-point plan, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. You do need the third to remind people that there are only two, because they expect them to come in threes. So it's a, it's a two-pronged trident. 
a bident or a hoe. Um, I mean hoe as in garden hoe, not as in, uh, you looking at my hoe. <laughs> what do they mean? What does that mean when they do it? What is all that sort of, yo, what's up, G? Some homie's been dissing my bitch. <laughs> you know, what's... What's wrong with good morning and a firm handshake? <laughs> OK, now, uh, now, moving on. Now, when you're addressing your uh, family, friends, workforce, personnel, whatever, you may want to continue the casual approach by sitting on a chair. But don't be afraid to use the chair in an unconventional manner. You may want to turn it round and straddle it. <laughs> it's got arms. <sighs> Never mind, I can still do this. Um... There we go. See, a, a football coach giving a pep talk to the team at half-time may very well straddle a chair thus um, and roll his sleeves up and say, hey, you, pass the ball to him and then score a goal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. But it, you know, it, it shows there's something of the maverick about you. You're prepared to thwart convention, prepared to break the rules, certainly as regards seating. Something you just want to put on your wish. Wait. <laughs> right, fine, fine. Fine. It's actually very good for your back. <laughs> um, but I, 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 see, I think I could carry on like this, but I'll abort the chair. <laughs> uh, OK. Now, you're sitting there and you're thinking, OK, Alan, forward solution sounds pretty amazing, but we want to hear it from the horse's mouth. Well, let me introduce to you two horses whom I've rocked into forward solutions. Please clap your hooves for my two rocking horses. I'll just introduce them. Uh, Jackie and Jackie Tootle. <laughs> now, now, Jackie and Jackie Tootle. A little bit confusing. Um, presumably, um, you, you're, you're Jacqueline and you're Jack. Um, no, we're actually both christened Jackie. That's hilarious. <laughs> but to avoid confusion, uh, what I'd like to do is refer to you as woman and you, man. <laughs> now, woman, uh, you were one of the first people to embark on my Forward Solutions programme, weren't you? Yes, well, um, I realised that a lot of my problems stem from my childhood. Right. My mother was very critical of me as a child, and she used to tell me I was fat. Bitch. Well, no, she had her own issues. OK, fair enough. Um, but my father wasn't around when I was growing up. All oh, right, bastard. Because he was killed in a car crash. OK, OK, not, not, not a bastard. Well, he was drunk driving, so... OK, so sort of a bastard. <laughs> Well, no, he had his own issues as well. Well, make your mind up, love. You know, you can't have it both ways. Well, my therapist says I can, actually. Yeah. 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 Go on. Go on. So, um... Yeah. That was my best therapy life, as you can imagine. Um... Oh, uh, right. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no, I, yeah, uh, sorry, I've just pressed a button here by mistake. Sorry, I've just sort that. Keep, keep, keep going, sorry. Okay. sorry about that, i just sort um, this out. So yeah. that yeah. wasn't the best starting life. Okay. And um, then I met Jackie, who's the love of my life. Yeah. And um, as well as us both being called Jackie, uh, we both actually have an allergy to dairy, um, which is quite unusual, isn't it? Um, and, you know, we have to avoid milk yeah. and cheese and uh, all sorts of lovely things. Um, Pizza, for example, but um, if we do have any milk, it does mean that we have a bit of rash, and um, at worst, it can actually get your face puff up and um, stop you from breathing. So, we do really have to avoid any type of milk, and um, we have to limit our diet. Unfortunately, um, our little son. of a child and um, he did actually have quite a severe allergic reaction oh my God. and it put him in hospital uh, which was terrible for us I mean, he did it sounds amazing it really does <laughs>